iPhone 13 Pro Max versus Galaxy S21 Ultra speed test coming up. Let's go. So what is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology. iPhone 13 Pro Max, Galaxy S21 Ultra. Let's begin with a boot up in three two one and see which one could get there first now samsung galaxy s21 ultra does feature the qualcomm snapdragon 888 cpu over here apple a15 bionic chipset six gigabytes of ram this one has 12 gigabytes of ram it's us variant and you see apple says not today samsung i'm the new kid on the block and I'm gonna boot up a bit faster. So it dethrones the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra in the boot up speed, but will it take it down in other areas? That's what we're gonna have to see throughout the rest of this video. But kudos to the iPhone for booting up very fast here for the 13 Pro Max. All right guys, so on the topic of biometrics, Apple is gonna stick with their tried and true face ID this year. I wish they would have put touch ID on the side but no difference really in speed. I'm not noticing it at all. It feels just like any other iPhone with Face ID. However, what I am noticing, if you take a look on the swipe mechanism, because of ProMotion, the animation does appear to be a little bit more buttery smooth. So you can see right there, bang, right in. So that's a very fast unlocking speed. But the Samsung does feature multiple ways to unlock, including the in-display fingerprint sensor, which can be faster if you know where it is because you can be tapping it before you even pull it up to your face. In addition to that, there is a face unlock up here if your face is available to see the cameras blocking it for me right now. But I would say Samsung has more ways to unlock and actually a better way to unlock, which is a fingerprint sensor right now during the time we're wearing masks a lot. It's just faster to get into the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Okay guys, so I don't usually do this, but I wanna talk about the smoothness factor before we get into the apps between both, because both of them do have 120 Hertz. And what I can tell you right now is that it's very difficult to see which one is smoother. I feel like the iPhone is actually playing catch up here to the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. Now, I will say I do believe that some applications and a lot of animations within iOS may appear to be a bit smoother. The optimization is very good on the Apple platform, whereas the Samsung phone feels fast. The scrolling is quick, and while it is fast, it's a speedy 120 hertz, this one has a smooth 120 hertz as well, but it just kind of has these animations just, just look a little bit, I would say they look a little bit smoother on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. However, for the Galaxy S21 Ultra, this is a buttery smooth phone as well with its 120 hertz. So it's very tight and you really have to look very close to see any difference. So I thought the ProMotion was gonna blow away the S21 Ultra just because it had iOS. You might've thought that as well, but I'm here to tell you it definitely does not. Most people would think they perform about the same in terms of the display. So both of them very strong in general scrolling, the home screens, all that jazz, it's great on both. Okay guys, so here we are at the app test. Everything closed out on both. Quick notes about this one. iOS 15 with the security patch, it came out of the box, 256 gig, 6.7 inch, 120 hertz, Super Retina XDR display, same Wi-Fi network over here. Now over here, we do have the Snapdragon 888, 12 gigabytes of RAM. In addition to that, you will see that I do have the enhanced processing mode turned on one UI 3.1 with the September security patch. This is the US variant. Everything closed out. Let's go into Instagram. And you can see that one does go to the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra by a hair. We'll go to the profile page, both loading at a pretty similar time, but the Samsung not really going further down on the profile page. I don't know why, but sometimes it seems like Instagram just performs better for the iPhone. We'll go into Twitter and you'll see right here, that one's gonna go to the Samsung. Let me go over here and go to profile page now. You'll see Samsung did win that one out. Again, Android remains with that fast scrolling regardless of the fact that Apple went to ProMotion here. Let's go ahead now and go to Amazon. And you can see Amazon's going to the right. So the Galaxy is having no trouble against this A15 phone in the day to day. Let's go into eBay. So you'll see right there, boom, Galaxy S21 Ultra. So this A15 is not really changing day to day app performance. It seems pretty similar to the iPhone 12 Pro Max and Galaxy S21 Ultra with the win there. Let's go into products 
and you'll see just the animation speed quicker there on the right, just a bit quicker on that animation speed. So let's go ahead and go into computers and tablets and you'll see that one goes to the iPhone, but overall, generally day to day, it seems like these phones are neck and neck. We'll go to Starbucks. You'll see boom right over there for the Galaxy S21 Ultra getting coffee first. We're gonna go into Groupon and Groupon is gonna fire open there first on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. Let's go into categories. And there goes the Galaxy S21 Ultra. What about things to do? And you'll see that's gonna be about neck and neck. What a tie. You can see right there, look at that scrolling speed. Look at this one, a little smoother, but blazing fast there for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. How about ESPN? And you'll see this one is gonna go over there to the left on the iPhone. And we're still waiting for that load for the Galaxy S21 Ultra, a hair behind on the right. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2 and see which one could load this game up first. iPhone said sit down. We'll go over here and turn the volume down on both of these. They both have some volume on. Let's go ahead and hit the play button at the same exact time and see which one can get in first. Now, one thing I will note is it's very noticeable for the iPhone that you do have this smoother display when gaming. It just looks a bit smoother in the game. Like you'll just notice that because you never had a promotion on your iPhone before. So that's a major update. Samsung already was experiencing this with their, you know, adaptive refresh for Android phones, so no big deal there. But I would say iPhone still a little bit quicker when it comes to loading these games up. Let's go into Mortal Kombat. You can see that the iPhone is ahead here, but can the Samsung make a comeback? Doesn't look like that's going to happen here. Looks like the iPhone 13 Pro Max, where it really kind of matters sometimes, you could say, well, gaming does show a big deal here looks like the iphone in the lead so graphically the iphone might once again be more powerful in games than the galaxy s21 ultra but i'll have to see if this thing will dim you know in the future do more tests on it to see if it dims because some people are complaining that older iphones when you're playing certain games it would just overheat not, not overheat but it would just dim down let's go into asphalt 9 can see that game loft logo much larger on the right and see which one could get into this game first now the galaxy s21 ultra has made it to the load screen first here while we're still waiting around for the iphone 13 pro max so maybe it is dependent on the game and how fast that particular game will load so it looks like the s21 ultra is way ahead i'm wondering if we're having a connection issue here for the iPhone 13 Pro Max, but I'm gonna leave it in here because that's what it did in this video. That could have been an issue with the network. I can go ahead and rerun that if you guys want me to. You know what, I'm gonna go ahead and rerun that. I'm not trying to give the iPhone extra credit here. Let's just rerun it to see if that was in fact a load issue or if it was in fact the internet. Cause if it, if it loads really quickly here, it might've just been the internet. Yeah, it might've just been the internet as you can see right there. If I hit play, both of them do seem to get to that page quite a bit, quite a bit similar actually. Let's go ahead and go to Temple Run 2 now, open this up, and you'll see Temple Run 2 does load there first for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. That is quite shocking there. Let's go ahead and hit play, and you'll see both of them loading at a very similar time. I mean, you can run almost anything you want on either of these phones, they're both powerhouses in that respect. And let's go ahead now and head into Lightroom and see which one can pop this open first. Very close, I think it might have been the Galaxy S21 Ultra there. Let's go into Premiere Rush and you can see it looks like we do have the Galaxy S21 Ultra for the win there. We'll go into Geekbench 5 and you'll see that opens first there on the right. Here comes the iPhone clocked in at 3.23 gigahertz, six gigs of RAM. Again, this one does have the 12 gigabytes of RAM. Let's go into 3D Mark, and you'll see that open first there for the iPhone. So they were trading blows. A few went to the Galaxy S21 Ultra, and a few went here to the iPhone, specifically some of the games, and on the S21 Ultra, it was very shocking. You know, I thought, you know, with this A15, with the ProMotion, it was gonna be much faster, maybe a little bit smoother than the S21 Ultra, but the S21 Ultra is holding its own. It is the best competitor to this iPhone 13 Pro Max, even though it came out several months ago. Okay, so let's reload the applications just to see if we get a change or if we get any type of, you know, reloads on any of them. So let's see if they can hold them just fine. 
I do expect them to do so. I mean, I'm not paying $1,200 for these phones to be reloading apps, are we? Let's go over here to Mortal Kombat. You'll see pretty good. I would say both very good there. I think the swipe in is just a, a bit smoother on the iPhone. Sometimes it feels that way. Let me just open these applications up. Both of them doing a fantastic job right here, holding those apps. Samsung seems to be popping stuff a little bit slower. So I'd say the iPhone looked a little smoother overall, but both of them held the apps just fine. And Samsung with the 12 gigabytes of RAM, when you are going into old applications, it shouldn't have no issues reloading. The iPhone may reload if you get way too many, like maybe like 20, 30 apps, but man, this 120 Hertz, you can see it, it just looks so smooth. Let's see how this one looks. Yeah, I'd say some things in iOS like this app tray definitely looks a little bit smoother than the Samsung one. So in some areas, the ProMotion does look smoother, but I would say both of them did a very good job in RAM management. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is a Sun Spider test, a JavaScript. We're gonna do it here in the Samsung internet versus Safari and see which one will give you faster internet speed. You know, this is not the exact same browser, but it's the respective browser for each platform. Clearly Apple has won this thing out by a long shot here. Safari is way faster than Samsung internet. So do keep that in mind here. You can see 78.2 milliseconds over here, 297.1 destroyed that one right there. But it might be a little bit of a different story on Chrome. I don't think so. Apple controls the hardware and software. And this is an area where it really does show. They have full control over Safari and it is blazing fast because of it. However, let me go ahead and run a couple web pages. So how about we go to apple.com right here and we'll go to apple.com here for the Samsung as well, apple.com. We'll hit go. This doesn't mean that your Samsung phone is gonna be slow when browsing the web. As a matter of fact, it's super snappy, but Safari is just a little more fast to load things up. We'll go over here to samsung.com and Samsung, you better not lose here against Apple in your own website. Let's see what happens here. We'll hit .com and we'll hit go. And you'll see Samsung beat out Apple there. They definitely did something to make sure their website's a little faster. But again, in the real world, you won't see it, but technically from that, Speed test we did earlier showing the Sun Spider is definitely a little bit faster on Safari, but both very strong. Both have 5G and they're both serious about the future of mobile connectivity. All right, guys, so the final scores are in and the iPhone has crushed the Galaxy S21 Ultra in both of these scores as expected. Apple usually wins out in the benchmarks. It's nothing surprising. The iPhone 13 Pro Max does do better than the 12 Pro Max and does better than the 12 Pro Max here in the multi-core, not by a substantial margin, about 600 points, and on single, does about 200. Now, now this score here for the Galaxy S21 Ultra is a bit low. It typically gets around the 960 range. I actually got this score earlier of over a thousand, like about 1,015 on the single core, so I wouldn't, I would take that score with a grain of salt. On the multi-core score though, that's pretty much in line where it usually is. However, I, I don't know if the phone got a little bit heated, they throttling a little bit here because I was working it really hard, but usually around 900 to 1000. So just take that with a grain of salt. But either way, Apple would have won it out either way. It can run this test 10 times, Apple's gonna win it every time in the benchmarks. That's just where Apple shines. But in the real world, I have some good and bad news for both sides. If you thought your iPhone 13 Pro Max was gonna just absolutely crush the Galaxy S21 Ultra, you'd be totally wrong. It's actually kind of catching up and surpassing it in some areas. Like it's a little bit smoother, I would say, with the animations. However, Samsung is holding its own with the Galaxy S21 Ultra. I would not be shaking in my boots if I was Samsung at this phone. This phone really doesn't take down the S21 Ultra. The S21 Ultra still features the S Pen, but we're gonna talk about a full comparison. I would say overall in speed, the iPhone technically a bit faster, but the S21 Ultra is still blazing fast in its own right. And I don't think if you use either of these phones, you would be wanting the other just for the 
area of speed but this was a very fun test to make because both of them are blazing quick but i do think apple does take down s21 ultra in the cpu whereas s21 ultra takes down apple and some animation speed as well as having more ram and taking better advantage of that power with its great multitasking features so it really just comes down to how you're going to use these let me know which one you like better the iphone 13 pro max or the galaxy s21 ultra and if you enjoyed the speed test you want to see more like this get your comments in down below thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe for more nick here and peace